With us now are Tyler and Blake Cohen. Welcome to the show. How are you guys? Hi, thanks so much for having us. Yeah, welcome, welcome. A good friend of mine, Therese Arnett, sent me this massive email about all the wonderful things that you're doing for CAPS Count. So how did this concept begin and what is it? Um, CAPS Count is a charitable project that I found that I founded when I was 16 years old. Uh, we're a charity that collects used CAPS hats and visors and ships them out to children in orphanages around the world. Um, this concept started about two years ago. I went down on a, coast, on a Costa Rican community service trip with West Coast Connections. While there, we went down to an orphanage and we got to help out the, the orphans there, play with them, uh, really have a great time. And I was buddied up with a little five-year-old, really cute kid named Fernando. And while we were playing one day, he climbed up on me and grabbed the hat off of the top of my head and then ran off. And being from New York, my first reaction was to go get him because that was my hat. And so I ran after him, but then I stopped. And I watched as he really, really cherished this, this hat, such a simple item that we take for granted here. And he kind of moved it sideways and posed with all his friends, had a great time with it. And so when he got back, I told him, Fernando, that hat is yours. You can keep it. And his jaw dropped down to the floor. He was elated that he was able to get a present because he, he doesn't get presents. People, the kids down there, it, like we can't really understand what it's like. And so he was so, so grateful for this. And this, this really stuck with me. And so now the next year, I went on another community service trip with West Coast Connections down to Ecuador. But this time before going, I searched through my closet um, and I found 22 hats that I figured I was never really going to wear again. You had 22 hats in your closet? It's Did you 22. take some of your brothers too or were there 22 of <laughs> yours? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I searched my closet for these hats and I found 22 that I didn't really care about that much and I just packed them in my bag and we went down to Ecuador. And when I got there, I unpacked the hats and I distributed them to some of the kids in the orphanage and they were so excited, the same as Fernando. They treated me like... King of the Caps. <laughs> King of the Caps, <laughs> and it was fantastic. And the, they, they were so creative with it. And one of the biggest things that I saw there is they're creative with the hats. They don't just wear them. They take them and they use them as Frisbees and they'll oh, throw them wow. around. And they'll, they'll use them to hold, hold items in and they'll string them together and make like jump ropes or something. And it's really just, it's cute and it's really, really amazing to see how much they value such a simple item. That's fantastic. Now, when he decided to share this like concept with you, how did you decide to get involved? Were you kind of like, oh yeah, whatever, I'll help? What was it like for you? Um, I was very excited to come out and help my brother. And um, I knew that this thing could go pretty well. So I was really excited to help him, and I was able to give him lots of hats from former baseball teams and little leagues I played on that I didn't really need anymore, and he was able to ship them off to kids who really liked them. It's, a, it's really a lesson in gratitude, wouldn't you say? Mm -hmm. Like, oh, yeah. you know, have, having the wonderful family that you come from that, you know, they're very philanthropic people, and so, you know, they raised you well, but now you're setting an example for people your own age, people that are younger, people that are older, and how to have gratitude, a great attitude, and how to make a difference. Yeah. So, and it's called Caps Count. Caps Count. So now, how does it work now? Because I know you've got some bracelets that you have available for people, and you're doing some fundraising things. So how is it taking you now? What's happening now? Well, it's, it's really unbelievable how fast and how much it's been growing in the past few uh, weeks, even. Um, Right now, we've been running caps drives at schools and with little league ch with little league baseball teams and at um, various storefronts that would like to participate, and uh, they've been collecting hundreds and hundreds and thousands of caps, and we've been running some fundraisers by taking donations and selling these uh, bracelets over here uh, to try and raise some money to cover the shipping costs. Okay, because that's really your only cost, because what you're doing is you're doing like a reuse, recycle, refresh kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Right. Uh, what we're noticing, though, is that it's very, it's expensive to do a good deed nowadays. It's like, um, to ship a cap internationally costs over a dollar per hat, which is incredibly expensive when you're getting orders from orphanages that are like 300, 400 kids that we have to cover. 
And so that's really been... Because you can't just send one because mm -hmm. the other children will be yeah. heartbroken. you exactly. got to take care of all of them. They'll be heartbroken and jealous. Right. And, um, then they'll be fighting over the cap. Yeah, exactly. a whole new mess, right? <laughs> <laughs> so what you're looking for is people to make a donation for you so that you can continue to do good work. Yes, definitely. All right, fantastic. Is there anything else I didn't ask you that you want to share with me about this wonderful CAPS count? Um, we've had some really, really exciting news recently from Modell Sporting Goods. Oh, great. Love Modell's. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, they, uh, from their uh, uh, community outreach branch, they contacted me and wanted to, to really help out with CAPS Count, so they've been mentoring me and really helping. And they donated a thousand hats to, to our go. organization. Way to go, guys. It was really fantastic. That's yeah. really wonderful. Well, congratulations on that. And I, I can't wait till you have millions and millions of caps out there, you know? Um, so, so keep it coming. Keep the good news coming. Keep sending us your emails on your progress. Mm -hmm. You know, I work with a lot of different nonprofit organizations. I work with a, a lot of different people. I'm very well connected. And so if I can help you in any way, I would love to help you get more caps to more people that need caps you know and now that you said that are there different ways to use it I'm thinking that might be fun you know who who, you know you can do like games with it and stuff exactly. I didn't even think about it you know so yes. thanks very much and uh, nice to have you guys here <laughs> stay you. tuned for more on live it up